I don't really feel like walking. I guess we could go in a taxi then. I don't think you'll get better if you just stay at home. Uh, I guess he really wants to go. Any opportunity to bring back your memories is more than welcome. Let's get going. Oh, and if you don't feel well, let me know right away. Well, he's a cindere, so he acts tough, but he's trying to take care of us. Oh, this is fancy. This is your university. You started attending right after you finished high school. Both schools share the same campus, but they have uniforms, so outsiders can't really enter. I'd say the university's good enough, though, right? Ah, huh, so this is your school. He said your high school was on campus, so you've already been coming here for a few years already. Uh, do you recognise anything? I don't... wait. I think what would stand out the most in your memory would be your after-school club. You've been in a band since your second year of high school. On vocals. Oh, I'm a singer in this one. That's... <laughs> I do love to sing and I do really want to be a better singer, so that's cool. <laughs> you were really awful at first, but you practiced a lot. And then you were okay by your third year. Yeah, you don't mince words, do you? I haven't heard you perform since you started college, but you've been pretty enthusiastic about it. This was the club room. Oh, look at my hat. I, I did actually notice um, the characters. I do really love the character's outfit. Like, she does have a very cute aesthetic. I wouldn't mind dressing up as her. Let me know if you want a rhubarb cosplay. <laughs> do you recognize it? You came here all the time. They're on break because of your injury. At this rate, they'll be on hiatus for a while. Oh, so I was pretty important performance-wise. I think you usually practiced about twice a week, after classes or on days off. I'd drop by kind of often too, after you were done. We'd talk for a while in here. Hmm. I really enjoyed seeing you get nervous around me. Aww! That doesn't really happen to me. But the time I confessed to you, our first kiss, all of it happened in this room. Ooh! You don't remember? Even if you don't remember it happening, do you at least remember the feeling? Whew, I'm getting a bit flustered here. <laughs> oh no, I'm getting very flustered. We've kissed so many times, I can't even count anymore. It'd be frustrating if you told me you couldn't feel anything from being here now. I guess you don't. Oh! Sorry. I won't do it again. I figured if I kissed you here, you might remember something. But that was stupid of me. I'm sure it's troubling for you too. Right now, I'm just a stranger to you. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Um, no, I don't mind. I mean... <laughs> Hmm, what would you guys say? I mean, I feel like I would be kind of out of sorts, but... I mean... But I'm kind of into the kissing a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. Um, oh, let's, let's check our trust. I can't... I, f I feel like the affection's gone up a little bit. But he said he wants us to be honest with him. Um, 
Would we break his heart if we said, yeah, sorry, you are a stranger? I, I don't know. Well, I will try, yeah, I'm sorry first, because I, I feel like she would be really overwhelmed. She's like, okay, you're my boyfriend, but I don't remember our entire relationship. Um, and it is just like, he does like, I mean, he has apologized now for kissing us out of the blue, but it is still a bit like, whoa, <laughs> slow down. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. There's no use dwelling on it. I should think of it as a long-term battle. Oh, I'm sorry, Shin. I've taken you everywhere I could think of. I guess the rest will just have to take care of itself. You might also start to remember things when you talk to people you know. And if you go to a memorable place, you might start to remember what happened there. I could arrange for you to meet the people we know in common, but... What's wrong? Why are you just standing there? Oh, we, we had another memory. A live event? You want people to hear you sing. Have you ever recorded yourself singing and listening to it? It's seriously not something to write home about. Oh! That's a bit mean. You were just nervous. That's an excuse. It's because you didn't practice enough. Did you practice enough to have absolute confidence in your singing no matter what? No, right? You slacked off. Making up excuses doesn't mean people will give a shit. Oh, I can't remember... His voice. Um... That's enough. You don't have to kick when she's already down. Shut up. Who's going to tell her if I don't? I'm sure everyone thought it was a terrible performance. You have to accept that first before you can fix it. If you're frustrated enough to cry, maybe you should practice more next year. <laughs> oh, I keep forgetting. Every time it's funny. Hurry up. Bob. Don't worry about it too much. He's exaggerating. It wasn't as bad as he says it was. Don't baby her, Tomma. Tomma. Ah! Oh, so dizzy! What is it? Don't tell me you weren't feeling well this whole time. No, I don't think so. I think that was just the impact of remembering a powerful memory. Oh, he looks really angry. Oh, seems like it passed. Are you all right? Um... The, the, the lack of music makes me very nervous. Um... so hard to like tell the difference like between the affection and trust um uh, might as well be honest we've got to get all these things out of the way and hey if we get a bad ending we get a bad ending <laughs> we are really just seeing what happens <laughs> you sure remember the worst moments it's because you weren't any good just put in the cell there, but you were better the second time, and I told you so then. <laughs> I see. Maybe Shin's attitude was enough to motivate you. Yeah, either way, you've been making good progress in remembering. It really must be because you're someone... Sorry. It must be because you're with someone who... Why can't I talk? It really must be because you're with someone you know really well, who can talk to you about a bunch of things. Uh, I don't know. I mean, he's harsh, but he means well. But but here's the thing, like, tough love isn't always good, you know? I, I wouldn't be happy with, with that kind of treatment. Like, I don't... 
I, I believe like in being honest is good, but not to the point where you where you're horrible and mean and make someone cry. Like that's not acceptable, you know? That's not cool. And by the way, you're supposed to go back to work starting the day after tomorrow. Work But trying to work with zero memories is a disaster in the making. Maybe we should ask the manager to reconsider. Oh, if possible, you want to keep word about your amnesia from spreading. Some terrible people might try to tell you some things that didn't really happen in order to take advantage of you. Uh, I don't want a lot of people to know, or I can't trust other people. I don't want a lot of people to know. I can't trust other people. Um, I don't want a lot of people to know. I get where you're coming from. So you want to go to work and hide your amnesia. At least your injuries will keep people from expecting too much from you for a while. If you want to go, I'll teach you how to do your job. I still remember it from when I used to work there. Wow, that sounds helpful. If that sounds good, we'll do some training here tomorrow. It'll be tough, so you'd better rest up today while you still can. Oh, we're thankful for the help. But just how tough is this training gonna be? I get the feeling you'll take a lot less mental damage if you just go to work and mess everything up. Well, no choice now. Do your best, Rhubarb. <laughs> what do you guys think of Shin so far? Let me know in the comments. I just taught you that a minute ago, you idiot. <laughs> oh great, not great start. You should learn to use your brain more. He is so Sundere. Or is it Kundere? I, I forget which one is the cold one and which is the... Yeah, I, I, I don't know. You won't get very far in life without being able to do a little math in your head, idiot. Or well, he'd, he'd get pretty pissed off at me seeing as I have dyscalculus. Oh, he sure does love to say idiot a lot, doesn't he? Oh, this is exactly how I imagined things would go from the very beginning. Ugh. Oh. I think that's about everything. Do you remember it all? Uh, I think so. Are you okay, Rhubarb? Alright then, put it to practice. I'll pretend to be the customer and you serve me. Rhubarb, do your best so he doesn't make fun of you anymore. Oh, the place we went to the other day where you work. It was a maiden butler cafe. You know what a maid cafe is? Just try to play the part. I know how maid cafes work, so yeah. Welcome back, master. Oh, he blushed! <laughs> he blushed! Ah! Interesting, interesting information there, Shin. Alright. Let's see. Next, you have to show them to their seat and give them a menu. After you bring them some water, say, Please call for me when you're ready to order. Then you watch how they're doing from a distance until they call you. It shouldn't take too long. I'd like to order. Oh, that's a cute pose. Uh, and then you ask them how their order is? Do you remember how? I feel like the master thing might end up being a, a thing that he enjoys. I just, I have a feeling. <laughs> oh, did I save? Oh, wait, anyway. All right. What kind of torture is this? I think all of all three of us know that you're kind of maybe into this. Nothing. Anyway, my order. 
I'll have a made coffee syrup and a banana tart. When you receive the order, repeat it back to them before going into the kitchen. <laughs> How many times can I say master before he, he just... Um... <laughs> Whoa! What? That's, that's okay. Um, calm down. I'm. I don't. I don't feel comfortable saying that dialogue. But um. Hey, what the heck are you saying? Ugh, this isn't good. This is torture. Just show up already, Tomma. Huh? Was it the doorbell? Do you have a guest? He is finally here. I think you were into that. I'm sure I... Yeah, I really get the feeling that you were into that. Come on in. Yeah, this guy, I... Oh, uh. Keep distance away from me. What, do you own this place now? You're still in Rhubarb's house. Oh, this is the guy you saw at the cafe. Rhubarb, are you okay? Your memories are still a bit mixed up, right? Just come in. I'm not comfortable with him knowing. This is Tomma. You saw him at the cafe the other day. I thought it'd be a problem if you didn't have anyone to rely on at work, so I explained to him what was going on. Explained, I wish. More like you just told me. So, how much have you forgotten? Have you completely forgotten me? No, I really haven't. She doesn't remember either of us. In fact, I don't think she even knows what this place is. Huh? What do you mean you don't think she knows? Then just tell her. She can figure out that much for herself. I'm just helping her with the things she can't. <sighs> Here we go again, Rhubarb. Sometimes I wish I, c I could forget that this guy has such a terrible attitude. I'm sure he's put you for a lot. It must be so frustrating. I'm sorry about that. Stop coddling her. No, you need to treat her better. Uh, I thought that they might have a bit of tension. <laughs> uh, why do they sound so serious? Aren't they friends? What's going on here? Rhubarb, can you remember anything? Whatever. Just handle any work problems she has, Tomma. That goes without saying. I'd help her even if you didn't ask me. Anyway, Rhubarb, it feels kind of weird saying this to you, but let me introduce myself. I'm Tomma. We've known each other ever since we were kids. I'm kind of like your older brother. I thought I was an older brother to Shin too, but... I'm not a kid. I don't need some pseudo-older brother. As you can see, he doesn't prefer it. An older brother figure, huh? Maybe that's why Shin decided to have you see Tomma the other day. Feel free to ask me anything, even if it's not about work. You're not alone in this, so don't overspend your energy. Sure, he sounds kind now, but he'll make ridiculous demands of you later like it was nothing. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to Rhubarb. I trust you on that at least. Anyway, you can trust him. I think he's the type who would keep his mouth shut if he's told to. Don't worry. There's one more person, a girl named Sawa, at work. I guess you could say she's your best friend. You can trust her, but she'll go blabbing about everything to everyone. Don't tell her anything you want to keep secret. That's about all the people I can think of that you can count on. Yeah, I'd say everyone else is just an ordinary friend. If anything happens, come to me or Sawa, or Shin. Although, this guy's studying for his exam, so you might not want to call him 
want to call on him much. He's got prep school on days you work anywhere. Wait a second, don't you have school today? How the hell would you, of all people, know that? Oh, is he skipping school for us? Wait, he had school today? He took a day off to come see you the other day too. I heard from Rhubarb that you have classes on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, and that's why she works those days. Are you seriously in a position to ditch prep school? I'm not saying you're stupid, but you can't afford college unless you're selected for an academic scholarship, right? Rhubarb, you talk too much. Well, there's no point in telling her that in her current state. She doesn't even remember. But I didn't know he needed to be chosen for a scholarship. I guess Shin's family doesn't have much money to spare. He's in such a precarious situation, but he's taken the time to visit you. Um, I'm sorry you had more important things to do. Sounds a bit, um, like demure for my, for, um, me. But thanks for coming here even though you're busy. Sounds a lot more appreciative. Like, it, like, this one sounds a bit like, Oh, I'm sorry you had more important things to do than me. But this one actually sounds like, Oh, thank you so much. Like, I really appreciate you. It's not that big of a deal. It's kind of weird to hear you thank me so directly. But you're welcome. I'm sure he liked it. My studies aren't an issue. I'll be in class for the next three days so I can make it all up in no time. More importantly, I'm counting on Sawa and Tomma to fill in during the times I can't see you. Thanks in advance. I don't mind at all. Alright, she got a new cell phone, so make sure you get her new um, her new number. Sawa, too. Oh, that's right. The old one broke during the accident. Just a sec. That should do it. Uh, by the way, it's fine that you're keeping her amnesia a secret and all, but you've taken to her to see a doctor about this, right? Of course. Wow, he just outright lied! And with such a straight face too! Alright, fine then. Just be sure you'll take responsibility for this. No matter what happens. Oh, he's just like an older brother. Not trusting at all. Of course I'm prepared to take full responsibility. Oh, really? Don't you think it would be better if she took a break from work? Taking a break won't guarantee her recovery. If it was just a matter of taking some medicine and sleeping, I'd have her do that. But that isn't the issue here. In fact, I think some physical and mental stimulation would be more helpful. That's right! Oh, I was a bit too enthusiastic with, with that. Yeah, this is the one area where Shin's tough love really does help us out. Well, I guess if all three of us look after her, there won't be an issue. Right. What's with the, like, smirk? <laughs> What's with the little smirk? Right, anyway, Tomma, why don't you help us out with some roleplay for work? I was about to lose it, being alone with her. What the hell? <laughs> that sounds so sus. What? Roleplay? Are you having her practice serving customers? Yeah, that's fine, I guess. Alright then, have a seat there. Rhubarb, start from the very beginning. Oh, let's see. By the beginning, I guess he means to start with a customer coming into the cafe. Is he gonna get jealous? <laughs> Welcome back, Master. See, doesn't it make you feel strange? <laughs> Both of these, I mean, it is a little bit, you know. Ah, Oh, I think that's supposed to be... 
Is that Orion or us? <laughs> yeah, maid cafes are quite a big thing in Japan. It's all just sort of the, the, the master madam thing. It's all just like a part of the experience over there. Oh, today is your first day of work. I know Shin and Tomma told you about it yesterday, but it's way different actually doing it. Tomma said he would help you out if you're not sure of anything in particular, but still, do your best, Rebub. You've still got bandages all over the place, even on your neck. I wonder if that's okay in this kind of job. Well, whatever. Just blind them with a smile. Good morning! Ohayo gozaimasu! Okay, um, oh god, what is, what am I gonna do for the, I remember that this guy is the manager, um, I think. Oh, hello, Rhubarb. Good morning. It's nice to see you. Huh? Are you feeling okay? That accident really was unfortunate, but those bandages are actually pretty cute. Cute? How can bandages be cute? Your official first day back won't be until next week, but working half days today and the day after tomorrow will be good rehab. Don't push yourself too hard. Just think of this as training to get your body used to working again, little by little. Hmm. Seeing a maid in bandages is quite attractive in its own way. I almost want you to keep wearing them. Just because. Excuse you? That's so inappropriate! <laughs> Good morning. Oh, sorry. I said I'd help you out today, but you ended up getting here first. Did the manager say anything unusual to you? Don't worry about it too much. He doesn't bite or anything. What's that, Tomma? That sounded a little rude. Uh, not at all. I just hadn't seen you put on that kind of pressure in a while, so I figured she might have been a bit taken aback. Of course not. I was only encouraging her. Yeah, it seems like this person is the manager. He seems pretty intense and borderline inappropriate. Good morning. Why, mine? You're looking as cute as always. Oh god. I, I suppose this is part just part of Japanese work culture, like th th and just like the patriarchy um, thing over there. Like I I have um, friends that live and work in Japan um, and one of them that works, one of them lives in Tokyo and she's told me about uh, some of the stuff you have to put up with if you're a woman basically, but geez, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Why, mine, you're looking as cute as always. Oh, stop that. You too, manager. Oh, hi. That's right, today's your first day back. I'm glad to see you're feeling better. I was really shocked when the accident happened. I even thought that you were dead when I saw you. Uh, it seems like this girl is your junior. Uh, wait a sec, she thought you were dead? Hold on, does that mean this girl was at the scene of the accident? Okay, that's enough. You can all chat after work. Everyone, get dressed. I do like um, mine's outfit. I would actually... This is actually quite my style IRL. I probably would wear that outfit. Alright, okay. Ah, it's already time. I guess it can't be helped. You'll need to wait until after work to ask her. You still haven't even been able to gather more details about... Oh, sorry. I think I, I think Orion, like, because he has a lot of energy, I, I do try and talk faster with him. But I need to slow down. You still haven't even been able to gather more details from Shin about the accident. That might trigger an important memory. I can't wait for wait to be... I can't wait for work to be over. Welcome back, Master. May I take your order? Have a good day, madam. We'll be awaiting your return. Ohayo gozaimasu! <laughs> That's a small little bit of Japanese I know. It just basically means good morning. I 
need to learn more though. Uh, just so you know, it's not like I'm enjoying this or anything. I think you are. Easy peasy. Compared to the way Shin treats us, real customers are a lot nicer. Oh no. If you run into trouble, I'm sure the others will help you out, so this shouldn't be a problem at all. Alright, just keep it up, Rhubarb. I'm starting to get used to her name now, is that weird? Oh, your body's starting to hurt a little. Are you okay? Need some rest? Good work, Rhubarb. You can take a break now. It's already lunchtime. You seem to be very focused in your work. You should go home for today and try to get some rest until the day after tomorrow. You worked very hard for your injuries. Thank you so much. Oh, I see. So you're done now. Ah, the moment you said you were done, all that tiredness came crashing over us. I was hoping we could ask about the accident, but I don't think we can just wait here until mine and Tomma get after work. You'll be back here the day after tomorrow, so you can just ask then. Let's just go home for now. I really like the artwork in this game. It's really nice. Hey. Wait, Shin? Why is he here? Didn't he have class today? <laughs> uh, what happened with prep school? Are you here to pick me up? Um, what happened with prep school? I'm just on lunch. I'll head back after saying hi to Waka. Uh, wait, who was Waka again? Since he's looking for him here, maybe... He oh, wait, sorry. Since he's looking for him here, maybe he's referring to the manager? So, how was work? Did you do okay? Uh, everyone helped me out. Well, it's good you're aware of that. I'll go say hi, so you just wait here. Huh? Rhubarb, wouldn't it be better if you went with him? Why are you coming along? Well, whatever. Why, if it isn't Shin, it's been a while. How have you been? Hello, Waka. I've been fine. Also, I'm sorry for any trouble she calls you today. Hey, you're not my you're not my parent. I'm sure she's probably been a lot less present than usual due to her injuries, but I'll help her to recover as quickly as possible. Oh, wow. I didn't expect that from Shin at all. I knew he was pretty serious when he apologized to your dad, but this really makes him seem like he isn't younger than you. Don't worry, Shin. I fully understand that her injuries haven't healed yet. She actually was quite lovely in those bandages with her uniform on. I wish you could have seen her. Stop! I'm good. <laughs> You're my manager, you should be saying that about me. Anyway, I, oh sorry. Anyway, you should have let her have some rest. I'm sure you have your own studies to get to, don't you? Yes, I'll see you again sometime. I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, I'm going to head back now. Go straight home, alright? You know, Shin is actually pretty reliable. He's done a lot for you up until now. And the people at work are a little weird too, but they don't seem to be bad people at all. In fact, it's almost scary that I can't find any reason to be worried. I just hope tomorrow goes as well as today did. Stay away from the 18-year-old <laughs> maid that's working in your employee. I think she's... No, wait, she's in college, so she's probably like 19 or 20. Yeah, either way. Employees don't... Employers don't be inappropriate. Oh, what should we do today? Shin said he had prep school when you had the day off work. Want to go for a walk? Ding dong! I can't help but save. Huh? That was the doorbell. Maybe you have a guest? 
Oh, it's Tomma. And there's a girl with him. I wonder who she is. She's probably the best friend person that they talked about earlier, right? I assume. Oh, look at her design. She looks so cool. That's also an outfit that I would wear. Hey, it's been a while. Mind if we come in? Sao was saying she wanted to see you, so I brought her along. Oh, so this girl's Sawa. Rhubarb, do you recognize her? Anyway, you should let them in. Oh, what a crazy ordeal this has been. I'm glad to see you're doing well. The hospital you were in was really far, so I'm sorry I couldn't go and see you. Huh? Really far away? I thought you were pretty close. Oh, Sawa, I guess you didn't know. The past two days she's been in a hospital pretty close to here. She stayed in Shinano for a, about a week, then she was transferred to a local branch. Wait, really? Oh, I could have gone to see her. Huh? What's Shinano? The Shinano I've heard about is a sightseeing area. So you were in a hospital there? Oh, the last time I saw you, you were covered in blood. I'm so relieved when Toma told me you were okay. What happened to me? He told me at the time uh, that I was probably still in shock and that we should just leave things to Shin. But it was so hard to just wait for any news. Wait, so what does this mean? So not just mine, but Salva was also at the scene? And the accident happened in Shinano? Oh, I wonder what you could ask them without drawing a suspicion. What do you think, Rhubarb? Uh, what happened? Tell me more about the accident. What happened makes it kind of obvious that I don't remember anything. Tell me more about the accident. I think... Tell me more about the accident, maybe? Huh? I, I don't really know enough to go into much detail. Hey, Sawa, I don't think she has any clear memories of the day of the accident. Wait, seriously? Seriously, it seems like she doesn't know how she was injured or how the accident happened. Should you really have let them know that? Oh, right. I guess it's pretty common in car accident. Oh, it was a car accident. I guess it's pretty common in car accidents and stuff to forget about what happened. Yeah, exactly. I think it would be best if we assume she doesn't remember anything about what happened that day. Oh, I see. If you put it that way, it doesn't seem like a huge deal that you need to go back to the hospital for this. Hmm. Shin and Toma have been coming up with some very convenient explanations. Has Shin told you about what happened? Well, she's only recently... It's so difficult to do all these voices. Well, she's only recently started forgetting her memories. She remembered it all before. And I'm pretty sure Shin doesn't want to talk about the accident. It's a pretty rough memory for him too. Oh, I see. Then you must be super curious about what happened to you. So Shin was with us when it happened. And he blames himself? I don't, I don't know how old you have to be to drive in Japan. Like, was he driving the car? Or was he like... Or maybe we were in some kind of... Maybe we were with friends going to somewhere else and like whoever was driving was maybe irresponsible or maybe it was just like bad timing you know because like sometimes accidents happen i've been in a car accident before and it really like sometimes literally things it, it just takes one tiny action for everything to go wrong uh, okay all right in that case i'll tell you about that day well as much as i know anyhow Let's see. So, the three of us, Shin and mine, all went to Shinano for a little vacation. Do you remember that? 
Oh no, not at all, but we do now thanks to you. Keep talking. On the second night, you and Shin went off somewhere, but later on he came back alone, looking all pale. He said that you two were goofing around and... Oh, so we... Uh, so she was just using the car accident as an example. Okay. He said you two were goofing around and didn't realise you were right by the edge of a cliff. And then you fell. I fell off a cliff? It was dark and he couldn't see too far down, so he asked us to help search for you. Wait, you fell off a cliff? I heard it was an accident, but I assumed it was a car accident. This is unbelievable. After that, all the guests at the mountain lodge started searching, even people who had nothing to do with us. You were found collapsed at the bottom of the cliff a ways away. All of it happened in the span of about an hour. So Shin blames himself for what happened. And he, I, I think probably he's so concerned with taking care of us now because he's, he's like, oh God, I didn't take care of you before. I have to make sure nothing bad happens again. And he, he must blame himself a lot. So he's like probably quite traumatized. You were found covered in injuries and totally unconscious. Oh, we're, we're remembering something again. Rebab, there you are. Are you okay? Can you stand up? Oh, it, I'm talking for the first time. Shin, you came for me? Rebab, what's wrong? Whoa, getting dizzy again. Are you okay? Are you dizzy? What was that just now? That was a memory of being found. It must have been brought on by their story. What's wrong? Did you remember something bad? Is it about the accident? I'm gonna run out of saves. I remember being found. Oh. Wait. You remembered? But I heard from Icky that you were unconscious when they found you. What? What could that mean? And who's that? Rem Rhubarb, do you recognize that name? You must be really confused. Do you remember Icky or Ken? The guests were there at the lodge too? Even though they were just strangers, they ran off into the forest to look for you. Isn't that cool? Isn't that so cool? Wait a minute, then what was that memory just now? Shin was calling to you when you were when you collapsed, right? Was that at a different time? What's wrong? Was that too too much information at once? Are you feeling confused? Hey, are you okay? Sorry, did I say too much at once? Oh, I really don't know what to say to someone with missing memories. Oh, you're remembering things, but it seems like the memories themselves are still unstable. Oh, I guess it really is possible to lose your memories well after an event happens. Right after the accident, I heard that you were desperate to let everyone know that it wasn't Shin's fault. The police were suspicious that Shin planned your fall, but you were defending him. What? Yeah, yeah, exactly. What? He in what? He intentionally made you fall? I wouldn't really say he was their number one suspect, though. It was more like they were questioning him for a while. Shin was saying that it was his fault you fell, after all. Oh, he did say that before. To you and your dad. But since even the victim was insisting it was just an accident, they released him fairly quickly. So they actually arrested him? So why... Shin is like really reliable and really like taking care of us. Like he's tough on us, but he's like trying to take care of us. For what reason would he like put me in a 
put rhubarb in a position where she falls. That's a bit... Uh, that's very odd. Very suspicious. We, we have a mystery on our hands. Well, it really wasn't that quick, right? I mean, he didn't come back for an entire day. So he's in custody for a day? Right, that struck me as strange. From what I heard, there was a difference in your testimonies that made them suspicious. But that's pretty common. People get confused immediately following an accident. Although, yeah, though, you seem more confused now. Yeah, I guess you're right. I definitely don't need to get myself into an accident. I can't even remember what I ate for lunch yesterday. So, uh, that's pretty bad. You'd better do something to exercise that brain of yours. Yeah, it's really odd that he... I'm pretty sure it was Shin who found me. Hmm. Oh, was that the wrong thing to say? They seem a bit shocked. That must be a mistake. If it was true, Shin would have mentioned it. Huh? So I guess that memory really was from another time? I don't think so. I think there's something else happening here. But... I see. Now that we have the whole story, I can see why Shin feels responsible for your injuries. Although it wasn't his fault, neither of you knew you were on a cliff. I'm sure he's still worried about it. Why were we on a cliff in the first place? Like, how on earth did that happen? Like, so we were at a mountain lodge with some friends and some other people. Why on earth would... Because he's so reliable and he's so concerned about safety, or, or maybe he wasn't back then. Because we looked in those memories and he was a bit mean to us. <gasps> Wait, guys, what if we jumped? Oh my god, what if that is an option? Oh my god, I hope not. Uh. He feels so guilty about it, yet there are still people who think these terrible things about him, like it wasn't an accident. Uh, it really was an accident, right? You believe that, don't you? Oh, don't worry. Shin might not act it, but he really does care for you. He wouldn't push you off a cliff. Yeah, it doesn't seem in character for him. I don't know. It feels a bit contradictory. And I'm sure that memory you have is even more evidence in favour of believing Shin, right? I don't know, things, things are a little bit fishy, aren't they? This is a bit odd. August 7th. Good morning, Rhubarb. Today is another half day for you. It looks like you've gotten a lot a lot better now, but you still should take a, take great care and not overdo it, alright? Yeah, you're still in... Sorry, but talking is hard. Yeah, you're in a lot less pain today, and you've gotten the hang of this more from last time. Today should go well. Alright, do your best. Ohayo gozaimasu! Welcome back, Master. May I take your order? Have a good day, Madam. We'll be awaiting your return. Alright, perfect! It's going well, Rhubarb. Oh, you're a bit too close. It looks like you've gotten used to it already. Maybe it really does suit you to have Shin boss you around so strictly. No, I'm going to say we can do without any more of that. Oh, half a day sure flies by when you're working. I don't know, dude. <laughs> Depends what the job is. Ah, oh, look at all their outfits. Good work. At this rate, you should be able to go back to, back to full time next week. Seriously, when I first heard the news from mine, I was in a complete and total panic. 
My hands were trembling quite a bit. I ended up dropping plates in front of customers several times. Manager, you were really that worried? If that pretty face of yours had been injured, this cafe would have lost its poster girl. How frightening. Yeah, I agree, that was not appropriate. Really? Everyone was so shaken up at the time. Toma was especially bad. Hey, you don't need to mention that. But it was pretty crazy. You were shouting at Shin and then you ran off. Sal was on the verge of tears. That should be expected. For Sawa and me, that was really an incredibly worrying moment. Oh, so... Me and Sh Rhubarb and Shin had some kind of argument and she ran off. Is it possible that she just ran too far and then fell off the cliff? And yet, Shin was so calm. I feel like she might suspect him of something. What? Mine. To be honest, I was kind of scared. His girlfriend fell off a cliff right in front of his eyes, but he was still super calm. He called the police and explained the situation, and he didn't even make an effort to search for you. Uh, what? That's contradictory to what? There's nothing wrong with what he did. He might have looked calm, but I'm sure he was beyond shock too. And I heard some scary rumours about Shin's dad being a murderer. What? It wasn't murder, it was involuntary manslaughter. Uh, what? What? This is... Okay. This is huge. Even if he didn't intend to kill, he still killed someone. Isn't that the truth? I heard he got drunk and got in a fight with some guy. Couldn't that personality have been passed down to Shin? I, I uh, what? That's a lot of, this is a lot to say all at once. When I think about that after what happened that day, it makes me really scared of Shin. I, d I, d bro, th there's so much to unpack here. I'll get seriously mad if you say any more. It's true that Shin's father got in a fight and killed someone, but that has nothing to do with Shin. That, that's true. That is true. Just because someone's parent is an awful person doesn't mean the child will be an awful person. And it's not like you know the details about that incident. Or do you? Mine, do you really believe rumours over your friends? I'm sorry, that was terrible of me to say. Yeah. I'm running out of save files, but I am a bit paranoid. Because the thing is, I don't know where the bad endings are going to come from, so I feel like I have to save just so... Because here's the thing, if we get a bad ending, we get a bad ending, you know? Um, whether you guys want me to continue, like, and go back, uh, let me know, but if, I'll only, like, keep doing this if enough people watch and are interested, because if I keep playing and nobody watches these videos, then it's likely I won't continue. I don't know. I don't want to, like, make stuff and then people just... I don't know, it's it's complicated, but make sure that if you do want this series to continue, make sure you like and comment so I, I do know that people are interested, because if you if you don't, like, show the engagement, I, I won't know that people care about this or want me to continue, if that makes sense. So, yeah, anyway. I don't feel comfortable saying thank you, Tomma, because that kind of gives an impression that I'm giving favour to Tomma instead of Shin. Um, I feel like the trust and the affection have not changed that much. Shin isn't at fault. You've been saying that from the very beginning. I'm really sorry. Alright, that's enough. 
Shin might be a lonely kid, but he wouldn't hurt a girl he cherishes so much. There's no reason to doubt him. The manager literally just said, yeah, Shin's a f***ing loner and a bit of an emo, so be nice. Anyway, why don't we all have lunch? Great way to shift the topic. <laughs> Look at Orion, like he's like, what did we just learn? Even though the manager said that, it sounds like there are a lot of people who suspect Shin. That's probably because his aptitude is the type to arouse suspicion among people who don't know him. What do you think? I'm starting to feel anxious. Yeah, I, I would a bit too. It's certainly a lot of information to get at once, but... I don't think we should judge someone because... Yeah, it, it's likely very hard to have a parent in prison, I can imagine, so... Got time. Want to go somewhere? Well, he shows up without calling or texting, and that's the first thing he says when he sees you? You could ask about your injuries, or ask how work's going, or how you're feeling, or at least something nice. Before, we'd go to the park, or to the school with Tomma. That's about all I could think of. It, we, we would just go to the park? Like, we wouldn't go to the cinema or, like, the amusement? Like, like arcades or something? I love arcades. Like, that, that is um, a really fun first date to go on. One of my... Um, I'm just thinking... I mean, cafes are nice, too. Like, that was the last... Um, the last day I went on, uh, which is... It's weird, like, time is crazy, but I went on a first date this year and we went to um, a nice local cafe that I know about. He bought me a milkshake, which is nice. And the the last... Uh, the last significant first date that I really enjoyed, I went to an arcade with the guy and that was really fun. I really like that. If there's any um, guys that I'm seeing in the future, what that somehow find my channel. Take me to an arcade, please. I quite enjoy that. Oh, he wasn't talking about a date. This is to help recover your memories. Oh, okay. That makes my last speech a bit redundant. Hey, in that case, wouldn't it be better to talk about the accident rather than elementary school? I think it's bad not to ask Shin anything and only hear negative rumors from other people. You also still need to ask Shin about the memory you have of him finding you that night. Oh, we're going on quite a walk. Hmm, I see. So I found you, huh? I don't know what you're remembering, but I never found you. Tomma and the others are right. I feel like that's a lie. Y you've kind of shown yourself to lie a lot. <sighs> Why did we get stuck with another liar, guys? Like, we had the compulsive liar thing with Eric in our last big, big series, and now we're... <laughs> we've got another liar. Oh, damn it. The people who found you were these two guys, Icky and Kent, who just happened to be staying at the lodge. I heard Icky is a college student and Kent is a graduate student. That's all I know. So, even Shin is saying that the others are right. I waited at the lodge for the ambulance and the police to arrive. I knew the police would want to question me anyway. Hmm... Someone had to stay at the lodge to relay the information to them. You thought very carefully about this. That makes me more suspicious of you, to be honest. It would just make things ha- uh, sorry. It would just make things faster for me to be there, since the police would have called for me anyway. This sounds like he's rehearsed this, you know what I mean, guys? You know when, like, people, like, really sit down and, like, rehearse their excuses before they have to lie? Like, a lot. Like, I know that that is a thing. So, hmm. Suspicious. I see. So, Shen didn't search for you so he could explain things to the police. Why was he prioritizing the police, though? 
Like, that's really sus, very shady. I don't know. No, Orion, I don't know if that's reasonable at all. After you were found, the police car and ambulance arrived and I was taken to the station. Our testimonies were different, so the police decided they were going to keep me in hold for a day. But the differences in our stories are really minor. In fact, I lied about them. Oh, what a shock. I've never, ever, ever, ever met someone I believe in as little as you. I've never, ever, ever, ever met someone I believe in as little as you. As little as you. Wait, why would you lie about something like that? Now that I think about it, I should have told the truth from the start. I think I was just upset. You seem to lie very easily and very often, and that makes me very suspicious. You said I ran because he was teasing me in your testimony, but... I said I jumped out at her from behind in my testimony. Oh. Ooh, hmm, I don't think that's a, uh... In reality, what you said was closer to the truth. Why did- why are the lying? From your footprints, they determined that you ran away from something before you fell. There wasn't really much reason for me to lie about it. That's just what I happened to tell them. What? I didn't- <laughs> Why are you so sus? Everything you say is just making you more suspicious and more shady. Because you see, at that time I was actually asking if I go if I could go to your room that night. Uh mm. <sighs> I mean, you are a young man. You are 18, I believe, from your character file so you are probably a bit more hormonal than a man that would be a little bit older but um chill <laughs> i don't know that that in particular is a bit like mm, that's probably the most sus thing you said so far that was hard to explain so i just ended up making up a stupid lie like that i jumped out at you from behind to scare you well, it's true, that would be hard to tell the police. Not only that, but you ended up running when he asked. So, he was making some kind of potentially sexual advances towards Rhubarb, and she ran away? That doesn't sound good. I actually wasn't kidding at that time, so what you said is technically a lie too, if we're going down that road. Okay, okay, let's give him the benefit of the doubt, like maybe we were so embarrassed and we were so modest that we had to flee in such a, like in a romantic heroine way, like, oh goodness, I'm so shy, I'm very demure, I must flee. But that's, I don't know, like that's a very... This is all a bit weird, I don't know, I'm, I would very much like to find out exactly what happened that night so I could stop feeling a bit mm. Although it's still a lot closer to the truth than what I said, but it wasn't anything that was super serious either. Everything you say is a contradiction! It's just that nobody but us knew what we were talking about before the accident and that trail of footprints was there. It might be trivial, but I still lied. Of course they would suspect me. The only reason I was released was because you cried and defended me. I'm really thankful. Hmm. I see. It sounds like you really liked Shin before you lost your memories. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't know if, like, having a neck injury is minor, my dude. You ended up with fairly minor injuries. I guess the police didn't see the need to press further. I could have died! I fell off a cliff! Rhubarb fell off a cliff! 
Anyway, that's my side of the story. Do you believe me? Um, I don't know if, like, blind trust is a good idea, um, I can't tell if the trust is going up or down, I, I still need to think about it a bit more, I don't know if, um, yeah, because you, you've lied several times and your stories contradict the memory, so I still need to think about it. Huh. You didn't used to think so deeply about things like this before. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, there's so much to unpack whenever you say things. <laughs>